The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has quickly become one of my favorite cameras for daily vlogging. It's compact, easy to use. I brought it with me to Catania, Italy about a month ago and used it to capture some amazing memories with ease. I can just power it on, hit record, and you're documenting your day in seconds. Now, one of the biggest questions I got after sharing that vlog was, how do you color grade your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 footage? So I thought about making a video where I'm going to show you the easiest way to color grade vlog footage using both the standard and the log M profiles and how to get that cinematic look with just a few simple steps. Now, big thanks to Artlist for sponsoring this video. More to them later. For this tutorial, I'll be using File Cut Pro as my main editing software, but the same principle apply if you're using different editing tools. We'll be grading two clips, one shot using the standard color profile and the other D-Log M. While vlogging during my trip to Italy, I found that shooting in auto mode made the entire process so much smoother. The Osmo Pocket 3 handled exposure and white balance well, and I was free to focus on telling the story and enjoying the moment. I also did experiment with the Log M, which is more of a flat color profile designed to capture greater dynamic range. But for vlogging, it just didn't match the extra effort. The results weren't significantly better and using full manual settings on the go was often more hassle than it was worth. Now that said, D Log M definitely has its place for more professional shoots, but for quick spontaneous vlogs, auto mode gave me great results with far less friction. I actually made a full video explaining why I leaned into auto mode for vlogging with the Osmo Pocket 3. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it in the video description below. So let's start with this first clip, which was shot in the standard profile. The great thing about shooting in this mode, you usually don't need to do much color grading. As you can see, the footage already looks great straight out of the camera. It has solid color and contrast. And since we're working in 10 bit color, we get more flexibility without breaking the image. Now with a few quick adjustments, we can make this clip pop and give it a more stylized look. So when color grading, I usually work through these key steps. First is exposure. I make sure the image isn't too dark or too bright. Then there's contrast where I add depth and separate highlights from shadow. Then we have white balance to correct any unwanted color casts. Then I adjust the saturation to either boost or balance the intensity of colors. And lastly, I apply a lot for giving the footage a stylized or cinematic look. So let's start with the first clip. I'm going to head up here and I'm going to select color wheels and I'm going to start by adjusting the exposure. And for that, I like to bring out the waveform by hitting command seven. If you can't see it, just head here and then select waveform and then Luma. The waveform monitor in Final Cut Pro helps me evaluate exposure. It shows how bright or dark different parts of the image are. So I can make sure nothing is crushed in the shadows or blown out in the highlights. So the first thing I'm going to do is increase the highlight to around here. I don't want to go above 100 IRE, otherwise it will blow out the highlights. And I'm also going to add contrast. Yeah, and this to me looks good. So this is the before and after. And you can see we already made our image pop. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust the saturation. And for that, I like to bring up the vector scope. And this is especially useful for keeping skin tones natural and avoiding oversaturation. Now the colors to me looked well balanced. There's no color that is overly saturated. Now I'm going to increase the overall saturation a bit around here. Yeah, I think this looks great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is check the white balance. I want to make sure that the whites look white and the blacks look black. Now this to me actually looks pretty accurate. I find that the Osmo Pocket 3 does a really good job at detecting the white balance. Now I find the image a bit too cool. So I'm going to uh, take the highlights and push it more towards orange. That to me looks great. So if we look at the before and after, this is what we get. And you can actually use this as your final color grade. To me, this looks amazing. But as our final step, what we're gonna do is add a final look. And for this, we'll be using Artlist's awesome LUT collection, who are also sponsoring today's video. Now to apply one of their LUTs, I'll head over to Artlist, go to the LUT section. And for this, I'm going to choose a cinematic style and hopeful tone. And you can see we get a variety of LUTs and I'm going to use the before and after slider to test a few options. I'll go with Akira, 
download it. And then from here, I'm going to type in the search custom and I'm going to drag custom LUT on top of the clip and I'm going to click here and I've saved the LUT in the artless LUT folder. You can see here is Akira and I saved a bunch of other LUTs from Artlist. So let's choose Akira. And this to me is a bit too intense. So I'm going to reduce it to 50%. And this is what we get. Here is the before and after. And just like that, you've got your final look. Now, Artlist offers way more than just LUTs. They provide a whole range of creative tools that help me make more engaging content. Their AI image and video generator supports text prompts in your preferred language, so you can easily create custom AI visuals. They've also made a major upgrade to their AI voiceover feature with the voice to voice, which lets you apply a voice to voice to your own voice recordings and generate a high quality AI voice like you're hearing right now. You can even add voice effects to transform the tone and texture of your AI generated voice like this walkie talkie effect. Another exciting update, they're rolling out 4K upscaling for AI generated videos. So your final results look sharper than ever. And here's something big. Artless is launching their third 100k fund where one visionary creator will get $100,000 to bring their dream video project to life. To enter, just post the video on your socials sharing your $100,000 idea, tag at artlist.io and use the hashtag artlist100kfund. For full details, visit artlist.io or check the link in the video description below. Good luck and big thanks to Artlist for sponsoring this video. Let's now head back. So let's look at this second clip over here, which was shot in D log M. We'll basically follow the same steps as with the standard profile clip, but with one key difference. We're starting by applying a conversion LUT that transforms the flat D log M footage into Rec 709. Again, I'm going to search for custom LUT. And I'm going to drag this over to the DLog M clip. And then over here, I'm going to the DJI LUTs folder and select DJI Osmo Pocket 3 DLog M to Rec 709. And as you can see, it converted it to a standard color space. Now, this step is essential because DLog M is designed for grading, but it looks super flat out of the camera. Converting it to Rec 709 gives you a solid, natural looking base to work from. Now, you can download the official DJI Osmo Pocket 3 DLog M to Rec 709 LUT directly from DJI's website. I'll make sure to drop a link below. Now, once applied, you can start grading just like you would with any other clip. And I'm going to increase the highlights just a little bit around here. I'm also going to add a bit more contrast and I'm also going to increase the saturation just a little bit. And the white balance to me looks good. And here is the before and after huge difference. And let's now apply a look. So I'm going to add another custom LUT and I'm going to select Akira and I'm going to reduce the intensity to 50. And this is what we have before and after adds a nice look to it. I might head back to the color wheel and just bring down the shadows a bit. It looks a little bit too washed out to me. So I'm just going to drag down the shadows like so. I think this looks great. So here is the before and after looks great to me. The last thing I want to show you is how you can save this color grade as a preset so you don't have to start from scratch every time. So once you've finished your grade, just head down here and select save effects preset. Give your preset a name. I'm going to name it pocket 3 D log M look, and then I will save it to my favorites. And I can do the same for this clip over here. Save effects preset, I'm gonna name it Osmo Pocket 3 Standard LUT and save it again under favorites. So here we have two D Log M clips that are ungraded. So I'm gonna take this and drag it on top and take this and drag it on to this third clip. And you can see it has been applied. If you shot it in the same environment with the same lighting, then you need to do minor adjustments. But either way, what I recommend is using the comparison viewer. So to open the comparison viewer, just head over to window, go to show in workspace and select comparison viewer. And then simply I'm going to save this frame. This is my hero shot. And I'm also going to set it to fit. 
And now I'm able to compare it with the other two clips. So I can select this second clip and I'm actually going to add a bit more contrast. Yes, I think this matches this clip better that way. Other than that, the white balance looks good. Let's go over to the third clip. This to me looks good too. No adjustments need to be made. So this is a really great method to compare each clip side by side with your hero shot and then make those adjustments to keep your color grading consistent throughout your footage. So that's how I color grade my Osmo Pocket 3 footage using a few simple steps inside Final Cut Pro. Now guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'd love to help. Hope you found this video helpful. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you haven't seen the video where I explain why I lean into auto mode for vlogging with the Osmo Pocket 3, you can check it out right here. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.